New developments in this crash in a Royal Palm Beach neighborhood. It left one person dead, three others seriously injured. According to detectives, the car involved in the crash had been stolen. As that investigation continues, Chris Gilmore reached out to those living nearby about what they witnessed. Where the day after a deadly accident in this residential neighborhood, you can still see stained asphalt right in front of the 25 mile per hour sign. Additionally, lots of broken bits of the vehicles involved on people's front lawns here. We spoke to those witnesses and neighbors about their ongoing concerns for traffic safety. <laughs> More details surfacing the day after a deadly crash in the La Mancha residential community in Royal Palm. Crash reports list the name of the driver of the speeding Audi caught on ring camera as 37-year-old Rolando Rancano. The crash happening just after 2.40 in the afternoon Monday is still fresh in the minds of those close to the scene. And I heard this loud sound and my husband ran out and I ran out after him after hearing the sound. The sound of a speeding white Audi driven by Rancano crashing into a landscaping pickup truck. A white car that was just totally uh, destroyed and there was uh, the truck was um, destroyed also. The official crash report lists three people with serious injuries as a result of the accident. We confirmed with PBSO that the Audi involved was reported stolen from a public's parking lot off Crestwood and Southern Boulevard less than 10 minutes before the accident occurred. Jude said her husband was one of the first to check in on the totaled Audi next door. I saw the man that he was bleeding and he was uh, blood was coming out of his mouth. Roncano died at the scene. Neighbors close to the crash say they noticed he was wearing a hospital gown. La Mancha residents say given the time of the day and the speeds involved, they're grateful no one else was injured. Stuff. Like a lot of people walking their dogs and running and like all types of people like going on their bikes and stuff like there shouldn't be speeding at all. The day after the crash, the thoughts of people nearby are with those grieving and recovering. Everybody is, is affected. In Royal Palm Beach, Chris Gilmore, WPTV News Channel 5.